thought of another way of using morph dials, um, which is to trigger a sequence of actions. Um, now, for my example, I've got this penguin, and I wanted to make him shake uh, in a kind of undulating fashion. So what I've done is I've just done a, a little bit of point animation in sequence going up his body. You get the idea. And um, then I've got a control bone that um, just flies across all the different actions and as it goes past them it triggers that action and as it goes out of influence the actual amount of action um, is mixed down smoothly so it's not just on or off it's actually starting to shake very little and then gets a bit more well goes up to a hundred percent so this is just a technique to mix different uh, different actions in a sequence um, the only thing is uh, to note is that if you change the size of the control bone it will control more or less of well more more or less actions at once so this will only affect one and a bit actions so it means that the effect will be a lot more localized to each action uh, as you can see here so it's not shaking a large portion of him but a sm much smaller portion if I made it even smaller it would only affect one action at a time or if I made it really big it'll, it could be a hundred percent action here but this could be shaking really really uh, a very small amount and then as it moves that will gradually change from one to the other um, I hope this was useful and might give you some ideas of how to use the script and I'll see you on the forum. Cheers.